Guys, the world's elite have proposed doing the Great Reset to restart the economy after COVID-19 and the current crisis. Altcoin Daily, one of the most famous crypto channels on YouTube, with over 1 million subscribers, warns that a restart is inevitable and suggests we get ready. I decided to take a closer look at what three altcoins the most powerful people in the world are investing in. How to be in the same boat as the world's elite. What will keep growing even in times of severe turbulence. Let's go. The first altcoin that even Gary Gensler, head of the SEC, has praised is Algorand. Altcoin Daily draws our attention to a video where Gensler talks about how in five years, products like Uber and Lyft could already be launching on Algorand's blockchain, and their founder is a graduate of MIT, where Gary Gensler taught, by the way. Algorand claims they are the world's most powerful and sustainable blockchain. Algorand is far more energy efficient than other blockchains and is going further by offsetting its carbon footprint in partnership with climate trade. Besides, Algorand has been carbon negative since 2021. This is one of the most important points the WEF points out. Altcoin Daily highlights the fact that Algorand is partnering with the Clinton Foundation in India. This foundation is dedicated to climate change. Algorand Foundation announces broad-reaching partnerships in India to grow Web3. The foundation is committed to supporting the creation of employment opportunities and solutions that serve India's vibrant population. Blockchain attracted $66 million in investments in 2018. Algorand's investors include Multicoin Capital and Union Square Ventures, early investors in Twitter, Stripe, Coinbase, and other big companies. We don't know at what price the funds were buying the token, but judging by the very poor returns from the ICO, the investors didn't get their Xs yet. And to do so, they're going to need a strong pump, as they did with Solana, Flow, Near, and other assets. Right now, Algo is near its bottom in the buying zone. Given the development of the green agenda, major partnerships, and crypto market regulations, I expect hype around Algorand and the token to grow 10x to its high. However, I don't expect a market turnaround in 2023 because of the Fed rate hike. So the token could still trade at the 10 to 20 cents for a long time or drop even lower before surging. It doesn't look like the powers that be are going to bury such a high-tech project. They will need marketing for Algorand to promote their interests. And the best marketing is powerful token growth. That's what we saw after the Doge pump. The next token has an insane amount of influencers and partnerships. It's Hedera Hashgraph. Hedera is the most used sustainable enterprise-grade public network. Altcoin Daily mentioned that Hedera is governed by the world's leading organizations and is connected to the people who run the internet. Partners and management members include IBM, Google, Boeing, etc. Hedera is closely connected to the WEF and even rented an office there during the forum. Hedera and the HBAR Foundation organized a dinner party at a hotel conference for this purpose. The surge in Web3 companies at the hub is a testament to the industry's adoption of the climate agenda. Hedera was the lowest carbon negative commitment of any blockchain, and it has the highest number of real-time transactions per second. Hedera's blockchain reached 4 billion blockchain transactions on February 13. It took a few weeks for the number of transactions to grow from 3 to 4 billion. On top of everything else, add Hedera's extensive ecosystem with powerful and technologically advanced projects. All this indicates that the blockchain will be the testing ground for products after the Great Reset. Then why isn't the price going up if the blockchain is so cool? The first funds sold their tokens at more than 300x in the last bull market. Now they're accumulating tokens to pump and then sell them at their higher price. This was the case in 2021 and will probably be the case in the next bull market. HBAR is trading below the ICO price, indicating it is undervalued by the market at the moment. The current buying zone is in the 3 to 4 cent range. Over the last month, the asset has risen just following the hype from the World Economic Forum. But if the price drops in this range, I will consider buying it. The risk is that influential people will not let mere mortals earn. Therefore, they will manipulate the price in every possible way and leave out paper hands. I don't rule out a scenario where the entire market goes up and HBAR doesn't, so that ordinary people would get out of the asset in favor of more active people. Remember, the market moves against the crowd. The last and most important asset for all of DeFi is LINK. 
Chainlink connects smart contracts in blockchain with real-world information. It's well known for providing highly secure and reliable oracles to large enterprises. Google, Oracle, and Swift. Chainlink oracles can take any information and package it into blockchain. Prices, weather, outcomes of sport events? Without it, DeFi would be in chaos. Altcoin Daily pointed out that Chainlink was being promoted at the World Economic Forum. Moreover, the World Economic Forum and Chainlink propose industry oracle standards for connecting blockchains and legacy systems. This indicates Chainlink is working closely with the world's largest corporations. And where there are corporations, there is money. Chainlink is going after the entire global financial market. Link tokens pay for the operation of a wide variety of Oracle services, in demand by smart contract developers and traditional financial systems, and as a crypto economic mechanism for incentivizing the correct performance of Oracle services and providing user assurances. So the demand for Link will only continue to grow as Chainlink enters new markets. A one quadrillion market divided by one billion tokens means one million USD per Link token. The scenario looks fantastic, but even if the 0.1% is met, which is realistic, Link will reach $1,000. Chainlink staking will also drain the available supply. When it comes to evaluating the Link token, the sky's the limit. As for the price, the Link token has been in the accumulation zone for 300 days. The exit from such a zone is usually sharp and without pullbacks, as was the case with Solana. I see three possible scenarios for Chainlink. In the first one, the rate will break through the accumulation and will surge two times on liquidation of shorts. In the second and third, the Link exchange rate will start a no return growth towards the 2020 and 2021 highs. But there are also risks. The project is about technology, not hype. Therefore, we shouldn't wait for a sharp pump. Quite likely, it will be a boring trade in the range of $5 to $7. Also, half of the tokens are not yet in circulation. This means there will be pressure on the price of new coins in the future. And don't forget that investors bought back 35% of Link tokens at 90 times the current price. Even if they sell everything now, they will still make a huge profit. There is a fascinating theory that Sergei Nazarov, the founder of Chainlink, is Satoshi Nakamoto. During an interview for Lex Fridman, when asked, Are you Satoshi Nakamoto? Sergei said, No. But during that, he tapped two letters with his fingers in Morse code, S and N, the initials of Satoshi Nakamoto. Of course, that is just a theory, but if suddenly Nazarov turns out to be Nakamoto, the price of Link would fly to the moon. So I showed you three altcoins, which are somehow connected with the world elite and have a high chance to grow in the future. But remember, big corporations are interested in making money, not sharing profits with ordinary speculators. Question everything, do your own analysis, and buy when everyone else is scared. This is the only way you will make money with the world's elite. Thanks for watching your coin post.